Russia relocates ships from Black Sea to Caspian after Ukrainian operations. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky stated that after effective operations by Ukrainian forces in Crimea, Russia has decided to relocate its ships, including missile carriers, from the Black Sea to the Caspian Sea. Indeed, according to him in particular, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Syrsky, reported on the current situation on the battlefield and the results of strikes on Russian targets in Crimea. We are still awaiting final data, but it is already clear that the occupiers have suffered painful losses. Also, according to intelligence reports, after our actions in the Black Sea, Russia is moving ships, including caliber missile carriers, to the Caspian. The president said, on April the 17th, Ukrainian defense forces, as stated by the representative of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, Andriy Yusov, carried out an essential and successful operation in Crimea. In particular, the armed forces of Ukraine attacked the airfield in the temporarily occupied Dzankoy area where explosions were heard and a fire started. The strike on the military airfield in Zankoy destroyed or critically damaged a number of Russian air defense systems. The air defense control center was also hit, according to the defense intelligence of Ukraine. As a result of a successful operation by Ukrainian troops on April the 17th at the military airfield in Zankoy in Crimea, four Russian air defense systems were destroyed or critically damaged. Four launchers of the S-400 air defense system, three radar stations, air defense control center, airspace surveillance equipment, Fundament M. The general staff of Ukraine explained that this caused unexpected losses in weapons and military equipment for enemy forces, significantly reducing the combat potential of the occupiers. Snow melting in the Korgon region of Russia has caused the water in the rivers to rise in floods. The Russian press reported on this. A state of emergency has been declared in the province. The water level in the Tobol River has increased by more than 11 meters and crossed the dangerous limit. As a result, more than 100 living areas and several settlements were underwater. 13,567 residents were evacuated from those areas. Some of them were placed in the houses of relatives living in other areas, and some were placed in temporary shelters. The governor of the province, Vadim Shumkov, says that work is currently being done to prevent the water. Дорожник, логичка хорошо идет. Свет горит. Thank <laughs> you.